So the react the making the thyroid hormone is actually stressful. It could be damaging. And when you give someone an antioxidant, you're actually slowing down that process or the free radicals that are produced as a byproduct of this reaction. And that you tone down, you may decrease the, the autoimmunity process. The antigenicity of the thyroid will decrease. So we normally don't do that from a clinical point of view. Some doctors do that, but this is not standard of care. Uh, we would just go ahead and start replacement therapy. Now, the second question you, you asked me about the biomarkers, the, the only biomarker we use is TSH. We also use free T4 levels and that is it. Uh, for the diagnosis, uh, we make the diagnosis measuring TSH and free T4. How high does the TSH need to be for the diagnosis? Okay, a typical patient with hypothyroidism will have a TSH higher than 10 with a reduced level of free T4. So that, that's, that's the, the, this dyad is mandatory for the diagnosis of hypothyroidism or primary hypothyroidism. So a patient with a positive TPO and a TSH of 4 Okay. Doesn't meet criteria. No. And therefore, we would say they're in the honeymoon phase. That's correct. And they're probably going to see a rising TSH. Absolutely. But we don't treat. If Unless the free T4 you want to go is normal. Out. If uh. the free T4 is normal. That's why you need to measure. The, if the free T4 is normal, it means the thyroid is still producing. Remember, if you want to know, is the thyroid working? What does the thyroid do? Makes T4. So that makes perfect sense to focus on the free T4 because it's a, it's a perfect marker of the thyroid function. If the free T4 starts to come down, it means the thyroid is not working very well. So a normal free T4 with a TSH of 4 uh, it's okay, even if the TPO is positive. Now, this is every patient is different, okay? And that's why I'm sure AI is not going to replace us because we need to talk to the doc to the patient. The doctor needs to have that relationship. Is it how are you feeling? Is there hypothyroidism in your family? Let's do a thyroid ultrasound because usually when there's thyroid destruction, you can see that through the thyroid ultrasound. So